and more integration by parts examples. Let's take the integral of the arc sine of x dx. Hey, everybody's like, well, I'd much rather take the derivative. Yes, I know you can take the derivative. We're not asking about the derivative. We're talking about the antiderivative. Whose derivative is the arc sine of x? Well, U substitution doesn't work. You don't know it off the top of your head. We have no other techniques. We have this new technique called integration by parts. And at near the top of the list of a lipid, the things to set u equal to is inverse trig. So set u equal to the arc sine of x. This is remarkably similar to the logarithm example. dv is just the dx. The differential of u is what? 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. You all know the derivative of arc sine, of course you do. And dv v is just x. So what? So we say this is, okay, that's u dv equals uv x times the arc sine of x minus the integral of v du, which is x over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. This is now something that we can solve with regular u substitution. Some people would be upset to use the u word u so much. At this point, we can kind of can this. We have a whole, we've turned this into this. Now we can do u substitution with a u that has nothing to do with what u has previously been. u is the stuff inside. 1 minus x squared. du is negative 2x dx. We have the x dx, so du over negative 2 will be the x dx. And so what is it? x dx, that turns into uh, what? du over negative 2. And this thing in here turns into your 1 over square root of u. Whoosh. Do you like the full color U substitution? If you don't, then go into monochrome mode, whatever. So what is this? Let's clean this up a little bit. We've got X arc sine of X minus, well, actually plus, right? Because the negative 2 is going to come out front and become plus 1 half. Cancel with the, the two negatives, cancel out. And we have what? I'll call that U to the negative 1 half power DU. And so this is x times the arc sine of x plus 1 half. What is that? Raise the exponent by 1, u to the positive 1 half, divided by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplied by 2. And we add our constant at the end, and the 2 cancels with the 1 half anyway, and we get x arc sine of x plus the square root of u, and u was square root of 1 minus x squared. 1 minus x squared plus c. And you look at this and you think, really? That's the answer? Well, is that really equal to the integral of the arc sine of x dx? Well, if its derivative is the arc sine of x, then it is. Well, oh, let's copy this over. We'll be classy. There we go. Well, let's try it. We take the derivative of this thing. And we get what product rule says. Derivative of x is 1 times the arc sine of x left alone. Promising, we need everything else to cancel out. Plus the x left alone times the derivative of the arc sine of x, which is, which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then we take the derivative of this. This is something to the 1 half power, which would be 1 half that thing to the negative one-half power times the derivative of what's inside, which is negative 2x, which is 1 times arc sine is just arc sine of x. I'll call this x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. What have we got over here? This one-half cancels with this x. Uh, something to the negative one-half power is a square root of it down below. This negative comes out front. This x stays up top. Square root of that thing, 1 minus x squared. Well, golly, look at that. x over the square root of 1 minus x squared minus x over the square root. Die, die. All we have left is what we wanted. 
The answer is yes.